Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro M.2 SSD. I'm going to be running the tests and benchmarks all of this system which I built a while back. So yeah, go check out that video, I'll link it in the description box below if you want to see how I put this PC together. Anyways, on to the tests. So loading up Tomb Raider took about 15 to 16 seconds. For PUBG, it took about 26 seconds, 27 seconds, and actually about 5 to 10 seconds of that was actually more of the front loading screen and the connecting to server part. So I would say it's about 15 seconds to boot it up. So yeah, definitely not bad. Running the Final Fantasy Stormblood benchmark, you'll notice that the loading times by scene are like so low and the total loading time is only 13.295 seconds. Using the Anvil Storage Utilities SSD benchmark, the read score is 5414 with the write score being 8109 and the overall score 13524. So this one is with a test size of 1 GB, so let's take it up a bit. With the test size at 8 GB, you'll be getting a read score of 5,383, write score 8,634, and the overall score 14,018. So we're gonna up it one last time to a much bigger file size. Eventually, at the 32 GB test size, you'll be getting a read score of 5,398, write score 7,906, and the overall score at 13,305. In the Eto disk benchmark for a 1GB file size, you'll be getting a max write speed of about 2GBs, while read will be at about roughly 3GBs, 2.96, 3.04, around there. So I'm just going to straight away up it to 32GB and see how it goes. For the 32GB test file, for the write speeds, it kind of lowered slightly from 2 to about 1.9 GB while the read speeds are still around the 3 GB mark. So very slight differences, but yeah, just something worth taking a look at. In Crystal Disk Mark, these are your scores for your sequential Q32, T1, everything. So yeah, if you want to look at it in detail, just pause the screen right here. So this is the 1 GB file and I'm going to jump to the 32 GB file. In the 32 GB version, you will see that there is some slight differences. So same thing, pause it if you want to look at it more carefully. And yeah, that's about all the tests I'll be running for this round. After running through all the game load times, read write tests and benchmarks, I have to admit this ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro M.2 SSD is really amazing. The performance is top notch. And I don't have this test, but through thorough research online, it is power efficient, even sitting on idle or under load. So if you want to install this in a laptop, it's definitely recommended because it won't draw much power from it. If you're going for aesthetics even, this has a black heatsink cover that you can put on so you don't see the black PCB on the 512GB version. And if I'm not wrong, the 1TB variant, it is the same thing as a black PCB and everything. Everything included from the performance to the looks and the most important factor, which is pricing. This 512GB version comes in at about 139SGD while the 1TB version is around 265SGD so it is really great value. It's a little bit slower than the Samsung 970s when it comes to pure workload stuff but the difference for about 90% of the market is negligible and it is a lot cheaper. So I'm definitely recommending this SSD if you're looking to upgrade or build a new PC or you're even getting this to install in a laptop. Seriously. I really don't think there's any other M.2 SSD that even comes close in terms of value and performance currently. As in, yeah, the value it offers for the performance. Okay, that's it for the video. Hope it was helpful. Seriously, go pick this Edita XPG SX8200 Pro M.2 SSD up for anything and everything. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification bell to so get notified when new videos come up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!